Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called American Raspberry, also known as Funny America or Prime Time. Uh, this is Canon's version of the, the Kentucky Fried movie. I don't know which one came out first, though, because they both came out in 1977. Uh, just like the Sarge, uh, Canon's other flop, uh, this one has uh, a lot of racist jokes. For instance, um, uh, there's this one scene where this uh, rich white um, industrialist dude smoking a cigar and just sitting around being lazy. Uh, he he uh, he has a bunch of uh, so-called Negroes doing uh, slave type work to uh, produce energy for his company, and he says they uh, they emit less pollution and. Um, and they're quite cheap or something like that. I, I didn't quite understand what he was talking about and I didn't care quite frankly. I thought it was offensive. Um, they also, uh, th there's also one scene where the president re refers to uh, the enemy as a bunch of chinks. I guess he's referring to communist Chinese. Uh, well, I'm married to one so uh, I guess he's referring to my wife. Um, anyway, um, yeah, the, the Canon's attempt at comedy is lame, it sucks, I hate it. Um, this is the second time I've seen an, a, a comedy by Canon, uh, the first one being, uh, The Sarge, um, the second one being, uh, American Raspberry, um, there was another movie that was, yeah, it was okay, it had the Revenge of the Nerds dude and uh, Lando Calrissian, I forget the name of it, uh, they were playing uh, uh, drug trafficking cops or something like that. Uh, that one was okay, granted, but these two movies really suck. Um, I didn't laugh at any of the jokes. It's like uh, one commercial after another with uh, tasteless, uh, bad taste, offensive jokes. Um, It's funny when uh, Kenny from South Park says something that's uh, racist or offensive, but it's not funny when these dudes are, are making commercials and um, parodying um, various commercials from the 70s. Um, the only good thing about it really is uh, Kinky Friedman is in this, um, also War Notes. Uh, those are two really great actors, but I felt like their efforts were wasted in this one. You really don't see them for more than five minutes uh, out of a one hour, ten minutes film. Um, so that was unfortunate. If they had put more War Notes, Kinky Friedman, perhaps it could have been a better movie, but um, yeah, well, they, they decided to put every no-name uh, actor in this um, besides War Notes and Kinky Friedman, so. Yeah, I guess they wanted to give everybody an equal opportunity or see how many actors they could cram into one movie. Um, which was unfortunate. I, I didn't really um, understand or care about any of the skits. I mean, uh, I was kind of with the, uh, the preacher dude who said, turn off your TV, I mean. Yeah, that was the only solution to uh, watching television or watching this movie is to turn it off. Um, so there's that, um, and then the movie ends with a with an atomic bomb blast. I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, I guess they want to make it funny, so they put a big TV set. Um, in the middle of the screen amidst all this uh, nuclear holocaust. Yeah, haha, ha, funny. I didn't find that funny. But, um, yeah, this movie sucks. Um, didn't like it. I've never seen the Kentucky Fried movie, so I can't really compare it to that. But I didn't really care for Amazon Women of the Moon either. Uh, it's kind of like that movie. Um, not very funny, kind of uh, boring with stupid jokes. Lame, lame, lame. I don't know why 
can and make comedies. It's just stuck with horror, action, uh, psychological thriller, maybe a drama here and there, maybe a kids movie here and there. But uh, comedy is just not their spiel. So um, that's my re movie review. Uh, I'm going to watch the next one. I don't know what's next on my list, but um, I better go check out Netflix and see what's next up on my instant queue. Uh, by the way, you can watch this on Netflix Instant Queue, but I wouldn't advise it um, unless you're uh, you want to waste an hour and ten minutes of your life uh, torturing yourself on bad jokes. Later's.